So a few weeks ago, I was out sailing. We were flying wing on wing and I managed to bust the uh, whisker pole. Um, the, I'll show you the footage or at least before it happened, but basically the line came off and caused the, the pole to shorten rapidly. Um, and then the pole went forward and hit the, uh, the force stay. It didn't do any damage, uh, but the pole needs repairing. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that right now. You need it loosen? Yeah. There you go. see the line going across here and the top here and then it comes out of the hole here and this line is all supposed to be inside and if you look down this hole here you can see that the line knot is there which means it's broke off inside or it's damaged inside um, so we have to take it apart so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take it apart and see um, what, what's going on this end I think it's supposed to be riveted, but this end has got screws in it. So first thing I'm gonna do is take these screws out and then um, extract the, the, the end, this piece, the cap off and pull it out the front. And then I think here, actually, the third one is not real. It's this uh, cleat. So I've got to take the cleat out. So I'm trying to do this with one hand because I'm, I'm filming with the other. So it might take me a minute. There you go. down there. Right. So yeah, so this is oh come it's broken, you can see it snapped. Uh, I don't know actually can you see that? Yeah you can see it's snapped. So it's snapped inside. So I'm gonna to have to extract all this and then replace this line. So now we take off this end as 
well. I think we can pull the, the tube out uh, from the other end. So we're going to slide it out the other way. So I'm going to bring that over here and then I don't know if you can see it even though you probably can. Hang on a sec. Okay, pull the whole thing this way. So these are aluminium rivets. I'm just going to drill them out. Straight out, no problem. That's, that's one. And then there's two more on this side. The two on this side hold in the bracket that's got the rope on it. And that's a rope. These ones just seem like chainless. That's the bushing that holds everything in. So now that's out. And as soon as these are out, and that's nearly loose. Yeah. So that's where it snaps. If you can see that, there's the end of the there's the end of the screw. Uh, sorry, the end of the rope, and it's. Totally snapped off. I gotta get these rivets out of out of here so this can be riveted back on. So this is the the parts all full, all taken apart. So this is the bar that goes through the, the center that basically acts as the pulley system uh, to get the bar out. Uh, there's a, a bush here, and then when you put the small tube inside. The, the bigger tube, so it goes inside there, and then the, the bushing goes on the outside of this, and on the inside of this goes this piece, and this piece is really what caused the issue here. So this piece here uh, is where the end of the rope is supposed to be tied to, but as you can see, this the end of the rope has failed. Um, so you can see that, yeah, there's no, no space. So they go into this tube, you push that piece into the tube here, and then take the end of this tube and go into the, uh, the inside of the bigger tube. So inside the big, big tube here, like this. And then this piece here goes on the end of the big tube. So we're ready to fix it now. So here you can see one end here. I tied all this together, so so basically it didn't go through the pulley because I wanted to go I want to go, go through the pulley and feed it through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the end here, I'm gonna take my new piece, I'm gonna take them together. It doesn't need to be that strong because it's only going through there. Just wanna make sure it just pulls through like this. Okay, so now I've got this end through here. And that is sent over here. You can basically pull right through. 
so you can follow with your arm out. Take this out. Take this line here. Yeah, I hope you can see this. So let's check. Yeah, yeah, take this line here. So the end of it that we've got. I'm gonna thread it through there. Yeah? So you have to go through this, and we're gonna and then don't know if you can see the end, but in the end here, there's a guide. So what we've got is we're going through this side here, around the pulley and back through that side like so. And then, then basically take up the slack. So you can see it starts to go inside the small pole. What the idea is extending the small pole and we've still got this here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to twist it, so I'm going to align these so they're free and running down each side of the pole. So you'll see that this line is going to go to this and this is going to be attached in here. We're going to connect this through here and then it's going to Go inside there like that. So we're gonna go through here and then tie a knot. And that's how it was before. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie a fisherman's hitch. Because it chafed just at this edge here, I'm gonna stick some tape on it. Now this will be brilliant, but it'd be better than nothing. See if we can dry fit it, really, to get the, the right position for everything. Here on the floor. So you can see. I'm going to dry fix it first.
Right, so that's this end finished. So my recording stopped before I was able to finish this, but what, I, what you can see I did is I took the line, I threaded it back through through this guide here, and then I, I put some tape around to stop a bit of chafing there and, uh, and basically fit, uh, fit, fasten this back on. And then put all the screws in with a bit of Loctite so everything's in there and everything's working now. And if I pull this line, uh, and I basically left enough line here that I could, uh, that I could tie it up if I need to. So, okay, job's done. Thank you.